Well, welcome back to the shop and this project here with this vintage Craftsman drill press. As you can see, I've already finished machining the table and the base. I've got new spindle pulley bearings and new quill bearings. I've got a few other replacement parts that'll go on this as we go, but let's go ahead and get this thing put back together. Well, as nice as it would have been for that spindle to slide in there that easy, that is not a good sign. I'm pretty sure that these are the wrong bearings for the spindle in the quill. I'm going to have to figure out what the right ones are and order another set. One eternity later. Well, I got the correct bearings this time, but uh, I went ahead and disassembled the spindle. This is the original pin that was holding that uh, spindle nose on. I had used this roll pin as a substitute because the original pin was bent. I didn't like using either one of those, so I went ahead and made a new pin out of some 4140. So I can get back to assembling this thing again and wrapping this up.
Well, I think that'll do it for this video. Still have a few more things to do, including mounting the motor and putting the belt and the belt cover on. As always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button. That's it for this video. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.